So in this video, we're going to check out the 1.1 firmware for the Deluge. We're going to check out the new arpeggiator settings. We're also going to check out chord memory. So I've loaded up a grand piano, multi-sample instrument. Now if I press the keyboard button here, we can see the scale is lit up. We can also play off scale notes. See, we can still play it, but it does show the scale notes. Now you can change different controls on the sidebars here. You can do that by holding the top row and then turning the left right knob. We have velocity, scales, chords. Right here is chord memory. So I already programmed chords into here. Well, let's edit the synth. So I'm going to push in the knob here. We see arpeggiator, mode. Now let's turn it on. Now I already have settings in here and let's play it and see what it sounds like. Up here I have lower notes. Let's press those. So when I got rid of one of these, press shift and then tap the chord memory and it's gone. If I press back, it's not going to undo it. I would just press notes that I want to enter into here and then press the chord memory. And now if I hold it down, now it's going to play it. Now again, if I turn the arpeggiator off, this is what it'll sound like. Turning it back on. Now let's look through the settings. So I have sync right now, it's synchronized to eighth notes. I can make it faster or slower. Or I can go into triplets. If I set it to off and press back, now we have rate. So I will actually adjust, not synchronized to the MIDI clock. Make the eighth notes again. Now the gate, now it doesn't really matter because I have the piano have long release. If you have a full sustained synthesizer that doesn't have any release and you turn down the gate, it'll make the note very short. Then we have octaves. That's one octave, two, three. Let's leave it at two. Now we have octave mode. So we have up, down, up and down and alternate. So it reacts differently on the octave. Let's go three octaves. Do note mode. Now we can change the note mode. Same way, up, down, up and down. As played. Random. Now we can go to rhythm. Now right here, we have different patterns of all the possibilities. So from none, just plays one and then skips two. And we can just skip through all of these until we have a rhythm that we like. I'm going to go back. Let's change note mode to as played. Now this is just one track that I'm playing around with. So I'll leave it at that. We can change the sequence length. So it's two, five, seven, Now we have ratchet amount, so if we turn this up, we can hear. Occasionally, if we turn the probability up. 
start to hear some ratcheted notes. And turn it down a little. There's also MPE settings. Let's play with the rhythm. We can have even more fun if we add another ARP. So this is the MIDI cake ARP and now it's sending MIDI into here. And that is being translated through the arpeggiator. Let's change the octave mode to alternating, note mode up and down. Let's just press play. Bring the octave up. Add another track. Let's change the synth 